Hey guys, we're still in LA and two days ago we went to the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. We were a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a big welcome to Disneyland sign that we could take some footage of, but either way we kind of went into the park and at our own leisure just started walking around and exploring all the different areas of the park. One thing I did notice, having been to Euro Disneyland in Paris, everything seemed a lot smaller. I mean maybe it was because I was a little kid when I went last time, but the park itself was actually fairly small. We walked around, we finished the whole thing in probably four hours or so. But then again, we didn't actually do that many rides. We went on to three rides altogether. I went on to Space Mountain, Indiana Jones, and one that's always been my favorite, at least when I was a kid, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. I actually really enjoyed Pirates of the Caribbean. You really just kind of take a fairly leisurely boat ride through like a pirate set, through caves and gold, and there's lots of skeletons, a bit macabre, but it's just really pirate -y feel and I always really liked that. We also visited Toontown which was actually really nicely set up, just kind of a very cartoony little town. We just had a look around at some of the, you know, architecture if you could call it that. Interestingly enough, Disneyland's actually split up into two parks here. You've got the Disneyland Park and you've got the Disneyland California Adventure Park. We didn't quite know that they existed or were separate in the first place, but anyways, because we had a ticket that covered both, we went over to the California Adventure Park and had a walk around there as well. It was a little bit more grown up, it was a little bit more Pixar and Hollywood focused. They had a huge roller coaster set up with a big Ferris wheel, kind of looked a little bit like Luna Park in Melbourne to be honest. We walked around there for a little while and then went into a section which was actually really well set up, which was a small road section that you can see in the Pixar movie Cars. It's kind of really cool, they rebuilt a lot of the houses for all the characters in the show and kind of the little section of Route 66 that the whole, you know, movie actually takes place on. Again, we didn't actually go on to any of the rides, we kind of just grabbed some ice cream and just walked around. It was a nice and sunny day, so we kind of just enjoyed the sets and just kind of had a look for ourselves. After we were done with the theme parks, which we kind of finished off at about 3pm, we went out again, did a tiny bit of shopping and then we went for Red Lobster dinner. Red Lobster is a family diner, seafood restaurant. They had really good food and one thing I really like about all the American restaurants, they do all offer you a little box to take any food that you don't finish back home with you to eat, you know, late at night after you've done a workout or whatever. Yesterday we took the car and kind of drove around LA for a little bit, we went down to Rodeo Drive which is a really nice area, very high class, very upper class, very polished and chic and you've got all the palm trees down the roads. We did a little bit of shopping and then we went up to the Griffith Observatory. The Griffith Observatory overlooks the Beverly Hills and the Hollywood sign on one side and city and LA on the other side. It's an observatory built for public use and education so there were lots of school kids and little tours around. Um, it was really nicely set up, they had lots and lots of information on, well obviously, the universe, on stars, time cycles, how the tides work, all the information about the planets and we actually went into the planetarium for a show and the show itself was really really well structured, it was really well done, really well explained, just kind of a tour through the history of the universe, you know, how it was discovered and also how our understanding of the universe has expanded over the years and kind of where we're at at the moment. After the observatory we went down to the Glendale Galleria. The Glendale Galleria is a really huge shopping center, very high class as well, it kind of felt a bit like Chatston down in Melbourne. Um, just walked around, had a little bit of a look, just did a bit of shopping again and then we went to Olive Garden for dinner. Olive Garden, like Red Lobster, kind of very family, dinery oriented, but this time it was Italian food. It was really good Italian food. And so we're slowly ticking off all the places that we still want to eat that are only available in America. We've got a few more things on before we leave for Hawaii. Today, for example, I'm really excited. We're going to Universal Studios. And again, I've been there when I was really young. I just want to see what it's like and what it compares. And I will do another vlog in a couple of days to keep you up to date and let you know how things are happening. And just to show you what we've experienced so far on our trip through the USA. Until next time, I will see you later.